what's going on guys? This is Jonathan Mahelis, owner of Finest Events. And today we're about to have a duel, a duel of two two-way Titan speakers. We have the Bass Boss DV12 versus the RCF TT25A Mark II. Now this right here is a 15 inch two-way cabinet. This is a 12 inch two-way cabinet. But before I get into all the details, before I get into all the specs, I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Ben Stowe at NLFX Professional, uh, you know, NLFXProfessional.com. Um, this is the gentleman that I buy a lot of gear from, and also he is the one that has been gracious enough to send me a demo unit of the TT25A Mark II. So Ben, thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to doing this review and overview of this speaker. Okay, nextly, we are going to get into the details. Uh, we'll start off with the base boss. So let me turn it around here. And I got everything written down here. Actually, we'll turn them both around and we'll kind of compare them. I think that might be a little more helpful for some of the people considering these two speakers. Okay, let's first talk about weight. The base boss comes in at, at uh, 61 pounds. The RCF comes in at 64.15 pounds. So the RCF is a little heavier. Um, and let's go over the amplification. This one has a internal 3000 watt power soft amplifier. And this one is RCF's proprietary amplification um, coming in at 1100 total watts RMS. And the high frequency is getting 300 watts RMS. The low frequency is getting 800 watts RMS. I reached out to Bass Boss. I tried to get the actual specs for what was going to the high frequency driver and what was going to the low frequency driver. Um, and what we were told is that there is 1600 watts RMS going to the low frequency driver and we have 600 watts RMS going to the high frequency driver. That's almost double the RMS power in the Bass Boss unit versus the RCF unit. But that, does that actually equate to sound? I don't know, that's pretty hard to believe actually. That, that does seem like a pretty high number, but uh, we'll find out here in a little bit when we run some tests. Let's talk about frequency response. Uh, the bass boss has a, it goes from 50 hertz to, uh, I'm sorry, the RCF goes from 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The bass boss goes from 45 hertz to 19 kilohertz. So it goes a little bit lower, about five hertz lower. So. We'll see if that is a uh, audible difference and if that can be picked up on the real-time audio analyzer. Uh, max SPL, the reported max SPL is 134 decibels in the RCF. Over at the Bass Boss, we're looking at 126 decibels. So that's definitely an audible difference. Now you have two completely different driver systems in here. The RCS has a 90 by 60, that's 90 horizontal, 60 vertical pattern coverage. And the RCS, or I'm sorry, and the base boss has 120 degrees of dispersion and a 20 degree tight narrow uh, dispersion pattern. Uh, this one, the RCF has a 1.5 inch uh, Neo compression driver and a, with a four inch voice coil and a 15 inch woofer with a 3.5 inch force coil. Uh, this is a Neodynamian motor compression driver with isophasic waveguide, if you can put all that together. It is a 1.4 inch Neo. Uh, the woofer in here is a 12 inch woofer with a four inch voice coil. So the voice coil on the woofer is a half inch larger uh, than the voice coil on the woofer on the 15 inch driver. Uh, the DSP, let's talk about that first. Now I will say this, the RCF has quite a few more options on the DSP. Uh, it has eight presets uh, within the speaker that actually if we go down low here, we can see some of those. Can you get down here for me? Get down here, can you actually see that? Get that so we can see that on the camera. And you can see they have L1 linear, L2 linear, L3 linear, L4 linear, C1 close listening. The C stands for close and it has uh, a high pass and a linear, um, and it kind of tells you what's going on here. You have a minus three dB shelf, uh, minus three dB shelf, and then you have far listening, linear, far listening, high pass. So there's a few different options uh, within the RCF. I will say it has quite a few more DSP options um, 
and definitely much more flexibility. Another nice feature of the RCF uh, on the actual back here, we'll tap, tap into it. Okay, so right here, this is your sensitivity. We're just gonna keep that at zero dB. When you click in, it's gonna go to the next, which is your delay. So you can actually adjust the delay within the RCF. You cannot do that on the bass boss speaker. And here, you're gonna go in, this is where you're gonna adjust your, um, your DSP. So, you know, right now we have it on linear linear, which is L1. And that's kind of like flat. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave it flat during the tests since we're leaving the bass boss speaker flat as well. We'll shut that off. Um, also, the, the RCF has another huge advantage. It has RDNet built into it. You can go in and adjust more of the settings. Um, for what I understand, I'm not 100% um, in tune with all the details of RDNet, but those of you that are looking for it, that need it, uh, or just want it, it's built in. The Bass Boss cabinet does not have that. So let's go over to the Bass Boss cabinet. We'll look at the DSP here. The DSP on this speaker, we only have four presets. Preset number one is full range. Preset number two is 60 hertz uh, cutoff. Then you have 80 hertz cutoff and then 100 hertz. So it's basically just a uh, crossover point that you're setting there. Um, other than that, not much more. That's it. And you have your, your sensitivity here. And they both have, if we back up, power con in and out. The RCF has power con in and out as well. Now, if we look at the design, the RCF has two integrated handles, one on each side, which is extremely nice. And it also is cut in, on an angle, can be used as a floor monitor. Uh, the bass boss speaker cannot be used as a floor monitor, and it does not have any handles, as you can see. Um, but it has the integrated handles, top and bottom. Okay, now a couple other things I wanted to mention with these speakers and differences is scalability. Uh, the bass boss is a scalable speaker. You can do what's called an inverted array. You can take another DV12, flip it upside down, and they sell rigging hardware where you can actually rig the two uh, boxes together and create a summation of the high frequency driver. So that is a plus if you're looking for more sound with more throw. And uh, however, you know, a little disadvantage, you're carrying an extra box and you're having to purchase a different box. So uh, we'll keep that in mind as well. Uh, for all intents and purposes, most DJs, uh, if you're doing events, you know, five, eight, even 800 people, uh, depending the room, obviously, uh, you could probably get away with just a single box on both sides as long as you have subwoofers. Um, again, the RCF is not scalable. Uh, however, it does have rigging hardware. You can hang and fly these speakers. You can also hang and fly the Bass Boss with their own rigging hardware as well. Uh, so they're both flyable. Um, see here anything else I'm missing I don't think so we're gonna we, we, we did another video for you too and we're gonna play that as well as far as ergonomics and trying to put these things on speaker poles and the differences which one's easier even though the RCF uh, is a little bit heavier I can tell you from manipulating them they're definitely much easier to manage because of the built-in handle so that's a huge plus okay Okay guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about speaker ergonomics, uh, something that's not normally discussed when we talk about two-way cabinets. Um, with the RCF, go ahead and come on in here. You have two handles. You have a handle on this side and a handle down on the opposite side, which is really nice for carrying around. It makes it quite a bit easier to manipulate the speaker. Now with the Bass Boss, you have no handles as you can see on either side. But what Bass Boss did is they integrated the handle on the back of the cabinet, on the bottom and the top. So you can kind of uh, get, a, get a purchase on that. And what I found getting them onto stands is that by grabbing inside the port here um, with one hand and grabbing in the back with the other, you can kind of get the best control of the speaker. So what I'm gonna do is just show you 
um, you know, getting the speaker from the ground up onto the speaker poles. Uh, we'll start off with the Bass Boss first and we'll see how much difficulty it gives me. The Bass Boss cabinet is about 61 uh, pounds. This is a generation one cabinet. Uh, the newer cabinets weigh about 49 pounds, so it's quite a bit of difference in, uh, in weight. And I think the RCF cabinet is very similar, 61 or 63 pounds. I think it's just a little bit heavier than the Bass Boss cabinet, but sometimes if they're built a little more ergonomically uh, correct, the extra weight's going to be a little bit easier to manipulate. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and put the Bass Boss up. This is normally how I would grab it. And I normally have to like kind of hoist it onto my leg like so and try to grab the edge and then kind of hoist up like so. And that's normally how I get that one on. Let's try the RCF. What I really like about the RCF uh, when it comes to ergonomics is the ability to just kind of get a nice purchase in on this handle. So I'll, sh I'll show you that here. That was definitely easier out of the two. 